All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods, eight hardcore guys. We are absolutely wrecking this mod pack. We are so overpowered, it's crazy. And if you look down on the bottom left, as you can see, we are in the purple hearts. That's right. If we look here, the soul amulet, I have filled this up. Here's some footage of me wrecking the warden a couple times. So yeah, uh, I killed the warden a bunch of times so we could get the blue hearts and we got a bunch of green hearts from just making them. We turned all of our um, heart, the, the 120,000 red hearts. Yeah, we just smelted those up and you turn them into these melted red hearts and then you can convert them into yellow hearts and those can convert into green. And so we just wrapped them around another red heart. So yeah, it was super, super simple to actually upgrade that. Um, but yeah, now we have a, we, we have like, I almost think max hearts, but for some reason we only have two purple and we have a bunch, but we're, we're doing really well. And then I also, because we got into industrial foregoing, we have an enchantment extractor and an enchantment applicator. So now our sword has smite four, leech four, looting three, life stealing two, frost aspect two, I'm breaking, uh, four, sharpness five, capturing two and sweeping edge a three. So it is stupid powerful, which we love. And then one more thing as well, while I was farming the warden, because this has capturing on it, we have a warden spawn egg. And I think you know what that means. Uh, yeah, so let's see, what spawner is this? This is the, the that one. Um, we are gonna see if this is a thing. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Um, if we put a dragon, do I have a dragon egg? I don't have a dragon egg. Let's quickly get a dragon egg. Hello, dragon. Goodbye, dragon. All right, now I should have, yeah. Got a torch here that we're gonna use. I'm still yelling. There you go, I killed it too fast because we're too powerful. There's torches that spawn on there, so you can grab the dragon egg. That's actually really cool. Oh, and we get the experience. Nice, nice, a level. All right, flick that. All right, it's here. So we mine here, place torch. Farewell. Now the dragon egg is ours, perfect. Okay. So the reason why we wanted the dragon egg is because that's how we spawn in the warden. Now, the cool thing is we three shot a warden. It's not a big deal. Um, we're going to grab a nether star. Um, yep. And then I'm also been converting them into blocks. So don't think that there's not enough because there's plenty. Um, another star. And then we also need a soul fire lantern. Perfect. So let's take this guy, where did he go? I'm not spawning him in my base, because I am, I have at least one brain cell. At least one. Um, yeah, we'll test him out here. All right, Mr. Warden, there you go. There you go, and there you go. So now it ignores light, spawns in. It has a dragon ink, so it should ignore the conditions. Maybe it's shy. Oh, let's make it faster. We can give it some some sugar and then some clocks. Oh! It actually works. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I want to see what happens if we don't, uh, if we take away their AI. So we need the chorus fruit. Oh. OK, 
Okay, so now they spawn in without an AI. Theoretically. Yes! Look at this. We can... We actually are farming the warden. Oh my gosh. I, te I told you that we annihilated this mod pack and I've never annihilated a mod pack this badly before. We took the boss of the game and we made him <laughs> oh my gosh we got a second one <laughs> this is crazy i need that by the way this is the craziest farm i have ever built let's get a comparator on it so i can turn it on and off Okay, so it's off. Oh my gosh, that is freaking nuts. <laughs> Sorry if you guys could hear that. So I had one of my cats in here with me. He was laying on my desk, chilling. And the other one was locked outside, or not locked, but he was outside of the office and wanted to chill and hang out with his brother. So he was meowing at the door. So if you guys heard any meowing, that's what was going on. Nothing crazy, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and fully upgrade that spawner. Um, let's see here. So we did those two already. Okay, so we need some gas tiers. The best way for us to get gas tiers is just to take this and get a few of these. Okay, we don't need the coarse fruit anymore. No AI, spawn delay. Okay. So yeah, we just need the clocks and the entities here. So now that's 64. And I think if we do a spider eye, it's the um, mob count. I think I missed that one. That's okay. And we need to find a way to get some those yeah spawn count okay we need a brown shroom you can straight up grow one in a botany pot that's probably gonna be our best bet okay all right so we'll put this here get this guy out oh jeez jeez okay and the botany pot on there we can put the stone that works okay now we just need to find a brown mushroom and the cool thing is is that we have plenty of big mushrooms but we need to turn this back to shapeless there we go look at that 14 shrooms now we can start growing them and because we have our time in the bottle which is at 35 hours again it's been 15 hours since the last video was recorded and there we go so yep that is in fact growing time in the bottle we're not gonna let it rest so yeah we're getting lots of mushrooms this is cool because now we'll have these at our disposal for the rest of the mod pack so we'll just have a bunch here Okay, so now with a stack of these guys, we can make a bunch of spider eyes. There we go. A total of 64 of them. And then we can add them here. And when we flick this guy on, it should be freaking crazy. So the max is 16. All right. And with a lever, let's see how crazy this is. I don't think I put... get this thing off can where's the spawner there it is okay
Okay. So that was over 64 wardens, if you guys didn't know. Um, yeah. That was... That was crazy. We... We are too strong. The warden is literally no match for our awesomeness. And we have mushrooms. Don't forget. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to farm this guy. Because that's just really cool. That was 32 wardens we just took out within the span of about 10 seconds. This. How many blue hearts do I have? 182. Oh my gosh, dude. We're freaking crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's get to what we should be doing. Um, last episode, I told you guys we need to set up, uh, what's it called? The, um, the soul sand automation for the wither, because yeah, it's actually stopped right now. We're still getting, we still have a bunch of wither skeleton skulls, but we are out of soul sand, like a hundred percent out of soul sand. So that's, wow, oh, we're at 5 million gunpowder. That's crazy. But yes, so we're going to be setting up some garden cloches um, over here. I have expanded this once again. As you can see, we're now up to the third level and we have diamonds here. And so here we will do all of these guys. I want to see if I can get all of these in here. Oh, yeah, we can. Good. So these should be growing at... Uh, an eight to one ratio, which is the recipe for soul sand. So every time these ones grow, it's gonna produce soul sand for us, which is exactly what we want. So we just need some farmland. Um, yeah, tier three should be fine. And we just need nine of them. So let's go ahead and throw these guys in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then nine. So yeah, these are fire seeds. And so now if we select this and we go to soul sand here and we do this, boom. So as soon as it gets nine nether essence and one fire essence, it's gonna create 16 soul sand. And because it grows two at a time, every time these grow, we get 32, um, 32 soul sand. So that's really cool. Have we had any grow yet? And the cool thing is every time it grows, it's going to be like, we should have none left over, which is kind of what we might do. Like we don't need to worry about diamonds or emeralds anymore because of our, our mob spawner over here that I have turned off. Uh, we're going to eventually move this. And I have been looking into compact machines. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is be, uh, we're going to have all of the spawners be in this one. Uh, and then they're going to get teleported to this room to get killed. So the um, the maximum compact machine, this will be where all the mobs spawn in. Uh, ours Navao or ours now Navao or something, however you say that, has a teleporter similar to how the old Draconic Evolution teleporter was, which is uh, if you have like a, a thing like this, you can make it a portal and anything that enters in will go to one specific block. Um, yeah, and that's what we're gonna do. What was I waiting for? Oh, we're waiting for the soul sand. Um, I thought, oh, okay. Yep, and as you can see, now that we have that, the wither is now going to get built, which is awesome. So now, what, nether stars are 100% automated. We don't have to touch them at all, which is so cool. Can I have explosions? There we go. 
yeah there that way we only have the, the bar and then we're also going to put the wither builder into a uh, maximum compact machine eventually um once we get the new base which will be coming up here very shortly because we desperately desperately need to desperately need to get into a new base because yeah we just need to make it pretty but yeah we're working good okay so what we're gonna do next is actually focus on something that's kind of a pain uh, I want to make let's see if we go to so we need to make four of these so we need there we go we're gonna make some obsidian seeds because I am tired of having to go and get them. Where are my prosperity seeds at? These are Certus Quartz, 10. There we go. Oh, seed. Cool, let's go make these. Okay, and now we're making some obsidian seeds here. Uh, the final one, perfect, there we go. So now we have a total of four of these. Uh, so these are gonna re require tier three. We do have enough over here, perfect. Oh, no we don't. Just kidding. I want all of these to be on the same side. So we're gonna put these right back here behind these guys. And now every time those guys grow after we put the farmland in there, um, it will it will give us a good amount of obsidian so now we no longer have to go and farm it because to be honest yeah I've been farming it a lot uh, res P here we go oh yeah so now we got obsidian that's gonna go right into our system which is a sweet and so we can actually go There we go so now that's growing quite a bit yep we got obsidian essence in here very cool and yeah i think our issue is actually power um yeah i shouldn't do that too often because <laughs> they're not they're not growing now because of it but anyway that's been automated we now have quite a bit of obsidian and the reason i wanted to do that is because we need to obviously make some flux points so we need some here and flux point. Perfect. Because let's farm the, the warden. Let's see how, how this goes. Um, yeah, so this is only four. So one, two, three, four. So on number five should be good, but we do need to get a range upgrade in there. Um, let's test it with just those so one, two, get some copper and a glass pane. Whoops. Okay. Unlock it. One, two, one, two, and then the four. Perfect. This give us a plus five range add on. I want to see the range of this guy real quick. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Perfect. Okay, so yep, that's working. We gotta get this power. And we'll put it on turtle power. Perfect. All right, that's working. We can also do a speed upgrade in here, which I think we should do a speed and an efficiency upgrade. Um, so let's get the gears. And we'll get two blaze rods and two sugar. And for redstone, I put five in. And then glass panes. What a pain. Perfect. All right, there we go. We have the speed and the efficiency upgrade. So we're going to be putting those here on that. So now it's really quick. That's actually as fast as it can go. And then the last thing we need to do is put a chest on top and set it to push it out. And we will be set. Um, yeah, I guess I need to make one more of these. Perfect.
So there we go. And then we output push. And then we'll disable all of these. Okay. Uh, mobs will generate essence. Mobs won't generate essence, but each kill will have a random chance to use looting at any level. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so this isn't really working out as we kind of hoped it would. Um, hmm. I know what to do. We'll put them in here. Okay, so heart, heart, put in all the hearts. Okay. Okay, and now we need the warden thing, this guy. Um, so we can do this. Okay, and then we also want these guys for the echo shards. So we'll put those in. And then the warden charm, what can we, these be used for? So the warden doesn't see you, warden spawn egg, a charm belt. Oh, holds all mob charms. Well, that is lit. Oh man. Let's make the charm belt. So now we have a belt to go on. I don't think I have anything in the belt position. Belt. Nice, now we got the belt, very cool. Now we can do uses. Now the Vindicator can't see me. We need string. We got some. What are these called? Charm Fragment. Okay, so we're gonna do the warden. There we go. And then we can do the vindicator. Oh, we already have one. Whoops. Evoker. There we go. And that's it. Oh, Vex. Oh my gosh, the Vex can't see us now? That is fantastic. Okay. Holy shnikes. That's gonna come in handy so much. Very good. Oh, we need to look at food. Um, what if we just did a couple of these for now? That gives us strength, resistance, and haste. We are so stupidly overpowered right now. It's crazy. All right, I'm gonna grab a cardboard box for the warden. I think we are okay. Um, I think we're okay to grab this. Yeah, we're gonna put him kind of on his own space. So, we're gonna do this and then the ward. Oh, mm, I don't think he'll spawn up above. I don't really think I want to test it out and find it. Okay, turn off the bang magnet. All right, so how does he work in here? Hmm, so even we have four of those. All right, are they turned on? Yeah, okay, they're on. We have four of those maxed out, and it still took that long to kill them. I mean, this thing wasn't doing very well either. Hmm. Maybe the warden just can't be mined or farmed like that. I'm pretty sure I'm farming these guys with looting 10, by the way. I'm also growing chickens here, so if I ever want to get a spawn egg, it's really easy to do so. Okay, so yeah, we're doing really well. Hmm. <laughs> oh my word, this is getting just freaking crazy. This is really just getting crazy. Uses, what do we do with these guys again? A recovery compass. What? 
What is this used for? Interesting. I don't know what that's used for. Um, uses. So I already made these guys. We can make the reinforced echo shard. Oh, yes. We are going to do that. Sorry. I didn't mean to yell into the mic. I just got really excited. So we need two of these. And if we combine them here... <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, look at that. That is so cool looking. Holy cow. And you can see my eyes. Look into my beautiful eyes. Hello. How are you? Oh my word, guys. We are so <laughs> crazy OP now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I have protection five, unbreaking five, mana regen four, and then mending on my pants. They give us plus six armor, plus 9.5 armor toughness, 0.7.8 knockback resistance, 5.25 luck, and then 25% more speed. And then the helmet is protection five, mending, unbreaking five, respiration three, aqua affinity three, and rebounding three. I don't really know what rebounding does, but it gives us plus three armor, plus three armor toughness, plus five knockback resistance. And then if we look here, we have our Supremium chest plate, which is protection four and breaking three and mending. Uh, we can we can bump that protection up if we want to eventually. And then our boots, mending, protection, unbreaking, and depth strider four. I didn't even know that was a thing until now. But now essentially I think we move like I'm not I'm not flying. This is just how fast we swim now. Like we we just book it, essentially. So yeah. <laughs> and then with our sword, like who who can stop us? Like we might as well just go take on the Batania boss. Hmm. Maybe that's something we do. But let's go ahead and do this. So this just kind of brings my sword back up. There we go. So sword sword is now repaired. All right. Is there anything else we want to knock out here, real quick? Oh, that was my backpack. Our new food source is pretty lit. We got plenty of hearts. How many hearts does that give us? It doesn't give us any additional hearts, but it's still really good. We have automatic nether stars. I would say we probably need to look into our new base here very soon because we're kind of like, we're at chilling at like 90, probably maybe we're up to 100, but looking this way, yeah, we're barely above 60 frames per second. I mean, it looks really good still, like YouTube is at 60 frames per second, but it can be better. Got another chicken. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap up the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, we are stupid strong. Let me know what you want me to do now that we're this strong. What should we strive for? What, what better armor can we get? Anyways, I'll let's see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Peace out.